I'm going to be showing you the locations of all the minikits and how to do all the challenges in the boarding party level of LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga's A New Hope. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to start off with challenge number one, which is to cause an explosive canister to explode on a stormtrooper. So this is at the very start of the level when you first start encountering enemies. On the left side of the wall, there's going to be a red canister. Shoot it, and a few seconds later, it'll blow up and give you challenge number one. So for minikit number one, uh, this is directly after that section, after you encounter Darth Vader. The level's going to open up here. We're going to take the upstairs path by grappling up with a hero character. Go through these electrical obstacles, and there's going to be a Minoc that you can shoot. There's going to be four of these throughout the level, so that's one of four. And let's go ahead and get the second one here. We're going to drop down from here, and right here the floor is going to cave in on you. Make sure you do not let it cave in on you. Uh, kind of bypass that, be prepared for it. And there's going to be a hero panel here, and so we're going to go ahead and hack this. And once you get through here, there's going to be a secret pathway here with the second Minoc. So moving on, so minikit number two. So this is when you see Darth Vader through the glass door there. So we're going to take the left path by using a Jedi, and we're going to follow this secret pathway that you could not access this in story mode. We're going to use a Jedi to get through all these obstacles, and after you make it through the end of the pathway, you will reach minikit number two. And directly after minikit number two, there's actually going to be the third Minoc for minikit number one. So here it is. Destroy that guy. And now let's move on to minikit number three. So we're going to continue down this secret path that was not accessible in story mode. And once you get through here, on the left side, there's going to be like this disco party room, which has the rebel friend character here as well. Take out all the enemies in the room. Once you do that, you'll then be able to mind trick the three rebels. So there's two rebels and there's rebel friend as well. Mind trick them all with a Jedi character. And once you do that, it will spawn a buildable mini kit number three. We're going to build that and boom, there we go. So from there, if you look up, there's another secret grapple point uh, spot here. So grapple up with the hero character, continue on through here, and here is the final Minoc for mini kit number one. So from here, we're actually going to have to restart the level and go back to here when we saw Darth Vader through the glass. And instead of going down the left path, we're going to go down the right path, which you took during story mode. And you're going to have this multi-build situation here where you're going to have two options. Choose the right option for the water cannon. So we're going to go ahead and build that. Once you build the water cannon, put out the fire, and there's going to be one of these hero panels that you can hack. So we're going to hack that with a hero character. And that's going to cause a whole bunch of stormtroopers to get sucked out into outer space. And that is the second challenge of this level is to use the hero panel to send those stormtroopers into space. And there we go. Boom. We got challenge number two. So directly after that section, after you go down that hallway, uh, you're going to reach this room where you have to move this thing around the room. And once you pull the first switch, uh, there's going to be some stormtroopers that uh, come at you. They're going to bust through this left door. And this left door is actually going to have mini kit number four in it. So we're going to go through here. There's going to be four switches you need to stand on. There's going to be a gonk droid nearby. So you can use him to hold down one of the switches. You can use another character to hold down the other one. Then switch to a protocol droid to break in half to hold down the other two switches. Or you can just do two protocol droids, whatever you want. Just get all four switches pressed down, and that'll give you access to mini kit number four. So now we're skipping way later in the level. This is when you're just controlling C-3PO and R2-D2. There's going to be a C-3PO panel and an R2 panel. Use the protocol droid panel and activate the turret option and shoot some of the stormtroopers with that turret to get challenge number three. So from there, we just have one mini kit to go. This is at the very end of the level. You can see it on the map there. This is right before the level ends. This door on the right will open up for you automatically. Uh, just destroy all the garbage that's inside, and that will give you a buildable mini kit number five. So that is all five mini kits and all three challenges in the boarding party level of LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. I know this level is a little bit confusing with all the pathways, so leave me a comment if you have any questions. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Dislike it if not. Subscribe for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time here on Quick Break Games.